The superintendent of Jefferson County Public Schools testified today at a hearing for the former principal at Mayo High School. David Mike is appealing his firing over allegations he knew about improper testing practices and then tried to cover it up. Mark Vanderhoff is live from the Van Hoos Education Center where the hearing is being held. Mark? Well, JCPS Superintendent Donna Hargan says she didn't take David Mike's firing lightly. And she says she only did so after JCPS corroborated what ACT and state investigators already knew. But I can tell you when you have to make the determination to, to terminate somebody, it is definitely the hardest thing that you'll ever do. And you do not take it lightly and you do not take a little bit of time. Hargan says she fired Mike for conduct unbecoming a teacher. The ACT company, state investigators, and JCPS discovered numerous violations in the way staff administered the ACT Compass test. From allowing test notes to be taken out of the test room to students taking the practice test too many times, male high staff testified they warned Mike of the problems. As the principal, um, as the person in charge, I'd be asking a lot of questions about anything that somebody told me like that because it wouldn't be consistent with what I believed uh, was acceptable. Mike's attorney argued his client never knew what was going on, but three people testified he pressured them to lie to investigators. One staff member testified Mike told her to destroy notebooks that should have never left the testing room. So it was very clear that what was in those notebooks was of great value to ACT. So, um, so I would not expect someone who came to the person who's setting the tone for testing in the building to say just get rid of them. Mike's attorney also questioned why Hargan's believed the accusers and not Mike. Hargan says she didn't base Mike's termination on those accusations, but she stood up for them. And I want to commend Ms. Graciano for doing absolutely the right thing that had the most integrity, which was to turn those notebooks in as she understood was supposed to happen. And the hearings are scheduled to resume on Friday. More witnesses are expected to be called, including David Mike. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.